No! Wait! Stupid! Stupid! D uh, no! Stupid! Hello gamers and game mets. Welcome back to episode 2 of our Pokemon Platinum Randomized Hardcore Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we did some progress. You know, we got a bit of a semblance of a team. Mexico, Canada, Germany, Finland. Start of a great team. Three dark types, a fire type, a poison type, an ice type, and a water type. It's going great. So in the last episode, we did the whole bunch of the beginning game, and we fought the trainers in the trainer school. We got the Poketch, and now we're going to get some encounters left of the city up, and then we'll fight our rival. Oh yeah, I forgot. This is randomized. I'm, guys, I'm real smart. Okay, so we're just going to take down his health a little bit. Wall Rain is not bad. It's another water type and another ice type. But you know, we'll take what we can get. Because early game there is no bad pokemon the levels in the early game really change really you gonna you the higher level you are your stats really don't matter but i think we're gonna name this romania romania welcome to the team my friend romania yes romania the moves and the stats of romania it is a ice water type lonely nature like spicy food Powder Snow, Water Gun, Growl and Encore, not bad. Um, pretty good stat distribution, high special attack, high attack, low speed. This thing will be pretty good for um, being a little bit more stally, along with Whale Lord. High HP Pokemon, good water types. But now that we have those, we're gonna heal up our party real quick, and then we're gonna go up to get our encounter. So in the original games, if you go up, you will get either Shinx, Bidoof, Starly, or um, Budu, but this obviously being a randomizer, we'll get a completely different table of encounters. But our route 204 encounter is, ooh, Mudkip, another water type. But Mudkip is a great early game encounter. Starters are some of the best early game, even if they're low level, because starters are made to be a sustainable Pokemon that you play through the entire game with, meaning that they have pretty good stat distribution and pretty solid Pokemon later in the game. But Mudkip, let's see, we'll name you Botswana. Botswana. So, um, recently, you may know this, but Jack Sucks at Life, this guy, he made a video sending Mr. Beast's YouTube play button to space, and that was, you know, pretty crazy. But, um, I feel like it's a very out of character thing for him to do. I know he collects YouTube play buttons. And it was a great video. I definitely recommend you check it out after this one. It just felt a little weird coming from him. Because he is the guy who collects play buttons and he has a second channel. Jack sucks at, sucks at geography, this one. And he is a smart fellow. But he doesn't do usually do very many reckless stuff. So I it felt a little bit out of character for him. But again, great video. Check it out after this. But now that we have both of our encounters... And we have a full team of six. We'll fight our rival, leading with Kangaskhan. Oh, we do not do very much damage. Let's go into Finland. Kangaskhan, I just splashed again. Oh, wait, it is usually here. Finland might be dead. This might have been a terrible decision. Oh, nope. Come on, let's see if Finland has... Oh, Cocoon. I keep forgetting that we gave him a Cocoon. But Finland clutches up and... Jorbius defeated. ...fies our victory over Jorbius. But now that we've beaten Jorbius, we can get our encounter, which will be... Ooh, Jo Dodrio. Dodrio is a very great Pokemon. It's heavily underrated in the later scene, having a high attack, high speed, and Drill Peck being a great move on it. But let's think. Cultures. This makes me think of Austria. You know, I, I don't know. Austria just fits this, I think. So, Austria. So, funnily enough, I've never actually left my home country. Um, I've never left the United States. I have traveled around inside of the US. I've visited maybe 10 different states, 15 ish. So, I've been to Texas, South Carolina, North Carolina. Um, Tennessee, Florida, no, I've never been to Florida, um, I've been to Texas, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Arizona, Colorado, um, California, Maine, Massachusetts, Oregon, um, I'm blanking on Washington, I've all, I've been there, so, 
I don't know how many that is, but I'll put up the number on screen. And so my QOTD for you today is how many countries have you visited? No, how many states have you visited? And you've never visited a state, what is your home country? So either how many states have you visited or what is your home country? Also, uh, most, I know this is kind of going to be shocking, but most people never make it farther than a minute 30 seconds in my videos, which is, you know, you know, it's just a little it, sad, they would never understand. but I appreciate any of you who are still here. I know probably no one, but what can you do? So if you're here, thank you. It's much appreciated. Um, at this point, I've been my two-year anniversary on YouTube was on the 18th, 10, 10 days ago, and that's when I created this channel, November 18th of two, 2020. It was my first year at the, my new school, and I was sitting there in my class. We were doing a unit on keyboarding, and I'm like, dang, I don't want to do this. So instead, I created that channel, I am happy. So I actually, I sat on this channel for about a year and a half until the end, um, until roughly April, March-ish, when I, on a whim, randomly posted a YouTube short where I'm like, are you sunshine? Because you brighten my day. And I made that. And then later on, I made another video, another pickup line. I don't remember what it was exactly, but um, I made those videos, and then I, I'm like, hey mom, could I start actually making YouTube videos? Like, I, this is something I want to do ever since I was a little kid. And, oh dear, that, this segment just got really scary. Um, okay, we're gonna poison stay, hopefully poise. No, we're just gonna bite, try and flinch him. Awesome, okay, so, I'm like, Hey mom, could I um, maybe actually start making YouTube videos? My mom's like, sure. Then my dad's like, hey, I don't want you to show your face in your videos. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. And I took down all the videos with my face. And then um, after a little while, um, my friend sent me this four second clip, no audio, of a milk carton called Missing Your Dad. And that was the first that's my most recent, that's my last, that was my first video, still up on the channel, to date, and, um, it, I'm pretty th sure it's sitting at, what, 39 views? <laughs> you can check it out if you want, it'll be in the end card, but, um, it's, that really, um, I'm not gonna say ignited a passion, because that, that'd be super, um, like, drum dramatizing it. But um, it made me happy. It made me super excited to create content. And so I'm like, hey, what if you did this? And so I sat on this channel again for a little while until mid-June. And I'm like, hey, I've had this idea right now for a little while to rank Pokemon Adventures book covers. And so on a whim, I uploaded the first... I'm pretty sure I made almost six in bulk because they're they were really fun quick and easy to make and so i just pumped out a few and they got what 12 14 views to date but back then back then being a few like even three months ago that was crazy to me that people can be successful on youtube and that is not success do not think that i think that was success but it was crazy to me i'm like wow i video I'm really happy so then I made that series for a little while and um, after about four seasons of that five seasons I got a little burnt out and I'm like hey this content is not doing very well and I'm not super crazy about it so then I decided to pivot a little bit and started uploading gameplay videos without talking like my first gameplay video was that um, Pokemon video that did still bad at fire at Pokemon Fire Red. But we get to name our encounter. We'll name you. Hmm. 
We'll name you Wales. Wait, why didn't I name my? <laughs> why didn't name? Why didn't I name my? Um, Waylord Wales. That's just a little, a little oopsie on my part. But we are in Orberg. Yay! You just listen to me rant for like ten minutes, but we're in Orberg now. Awesome. The appeal of Pokemon to me isn't really a story, so I haven't been super focusing on that. But um, to continue my story, I began pivoting my content, and I started uploading those um, gameplay videos. And our encounter is rapid, actually. And I had a lot of fun with it. And so after a little while, I started, hey, let's mix that. Um, and I was still uploading some IRL videos, you know. And I'm like, hey, let's mix the audio and the gameplay together. And so I made a few off random videos. But then I started making those Pokemon Heart Gold randomized Nuzlocke. And that was super fun for me. That was my first experience of actually editing my videos. Like, the editing is not great at all. But I actually started editing my videos. But then something crazy happened. So, at that time, I had used a few flukes of the algorithm to get to roughly 80 subs, right? But then, I uploaded a video called Pokeball Sand Art. It was not my most successful video at all. My most successful video being a video I made about water. I poured water down a drain, and it got 22,000 views, and so I was a little crazy. But that Pokeball sand art video got me 183 subs, which I know is probably awful to a whole bunch of YouTubers, but that was absolutely crazy to me. Jumping me from 80 subscribers to 260 subscribers overnight, and then I uploaded more of those videos. I uploaded a whole bunch of sand art, and I just kept climbing, climbing, and climbing. It was crazy. And then I uploaded this video called um, called POV You Have COVID, and it got 33,000 views. And then um, all these things, I uploaded a few crazy moments, videos, some water bottle trick shots. But now I want to focus more on gaming, which is what my channel is. So I have decided to be a little more methodical about the way I structure my content and I made a second channel called Mr. Tam Cooks which cooking is my other passion other than YouTube and so I'll be uploading there very soon but sorry for that mini rant about the history of Mr. Tam but we'll name this Rapidash Nigeria I don't know why it just has that Nigeria feeling I don't know but Nigeria so, Nigeria is probably going to stay in the box. Now that we have at least a few Pokemon, we'll probably go down to the Orberg Gate to get our Orberg Gate encounter. Or is it Orberg Mine? I can never remember. The locations in this game kind of blur together at some point. Like, everything is one and the same, and <laughs> it's kind of funny. But, um, wow, that's a pretty long story time. So yeah, Orberg Mine. We're in the Orberg Mine, and our Orberg Mine encounter will be a <sighs> Azuril. Azuril is not a great Pokemon, but we'll take it, and we'll name it. Let's let's look at my mental map. S Portugal. 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 Welcome to the box. I will probably never use you. Sorry, all you Portugalese. Did I just Portu Portu Port Portu Portu Port Residents of Portugal. Real smart. Sorry to all you residents of Portugal. Not only could I not pronounce your country for a second, but I will never use your Pokemon namesake. Sorry, but we found Mr. Rourke himself, running away from his duties as a gym leader to smash rocks in a cave. You know, that's what just what everyone does. I love, I love going away from my duties to go smash rocks in a cave. That's just, 
That's just the dream, man. If you're not smashing rocks and caves, you ain't living. But we are also super underleveled, which is probably not good. So, I am... You know what? I'm gonna be a little crazy, and I'm not gonna take the candy pill. I'm just gonna go back and fight the trainers on the routes that we skipped to hopefully get our XP levels up a little higher so that we don't die to work. Because I... You know, like I said, I'm willing to throw for content. That does not mean I will not try. But that means that I will not make this game exorbitantly easy for myself. Meaning, I don't think I'm going to take the candy pill, and I don't think I'm going to ride. I'll just fight all the trainers, and whatever level I get to is the level that I get to. So, gamers and gamettes, I think that we're going to do a little time lapse of me fighting all the trainers. So, let's go. No! Wait! Stupid! Stupid! Dia! No! Stupid! No! That's the first. That I. What? I didn't. Oh my gosh! I saw that. This. <sighs> that was such a dumb death. So pointless, dude. I I thought I would kill. I I it looked like I did half the first time. Well, you know, that's probably, I, I had it coming. I didn't switch. I got cocky and I got risky. And Austria paid the price for it. <sighs> the first death already in the second episode. <sighs> Crazy. But I think that we're going to put um, whales on the team. <sighs> but that, that was... That's dumb. We we just that was the first trainer I fought. Guys, gamers and gamettes. That was dumb. I'm dumb. It's alright though. We'll train up Botswana a little bit. Get him to up. And we'll go back into time lapse mode. Guys, this trap into his arena trap. I might be screwed. Oh, we won the speed tie. Thank you, Wales, for not dying like Austria before you. That would have been really unfortunate to have two deaths in the span of three minutes. Because I wouldn't put it past myself to lose two Pokemon that fast. But we'll just go back into time lapse mode. Yuxi. That's that's just awesome. You know, fighting a legendary on a random trainer on the what fourth route of the game. You know, just just the dream, man. I just used to grab move twice in a row on a Pokemon Levitate. I am just guys, I'm crushing this game. Losing Pokemon to Snowvers and Caves. Using ground type moves on levitating legendary Pokemon. I'm just built different. Simply a Giga Chad. Giga Chad Tan. You know what, Mexico? You were, you were a little close to death. I'm glad that, that, that they changed the poison mechanic in this in Gen 4. <laughs> the worst part of Fire Red is that in the Viridian Forest, there are these stupid bug type trainers, and you get poisoned, and you have your Pokemon die to the poison because you can't, you don't have the healing items, and you can't get to the Poke Center in time. And that's just such a disheartening way to lose Pokemon to a dumb game mechanic that makes it unfun. But I'm glad that they removed that from Gen 4 and onward. I'm also glad they moved TMs 
or HMs in Pokemon Sun and Moon because HMs subtract value. They force pointless moves on Pokemon that could be great. But now that we're done with these trainers, cue the intense Bowser's Fortress music because it's time to fight. Strongman Wellington. Yes, I'm truly terrified. His Lumineon, I don't know how I'm gonna beat it. Just just look at those fin thingies. I mean, terrifying. I don't know how we made it out of that battle by the skin of our teeth. Alright, man. Alright, strong man, Kate. Let's see what you got. Magmortar, easy. Go into Finland. We roll all over those balls. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's and I'm not recovering from that. Okay. Um, in goes Raticate. Down goes Raticate. With just a few water guns. Yeah, just a few water guns. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Alright, now that we fought all the turns that we can, even though we're just a tiz under leveled, like, by. We're not. We're, not, we're like f five or six levels under the, the cap, but. We got this. We we got this. We'll be fine. We won't wipe to Rourke. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. All right, Rourke. Come come at me, bro. Come at me, Joey. Come at me, Elite Four, Joey. I'm your kryptonite. I'm your daddy. Yeah, we're ignoring that too. We're them. Yeah. Good job, Math. Good job, dude. You're two for two. Weird comments. Cherubi. Oh, thank goodness that's his ace. Um, we'll just set the small berry berries on fire. Down goes the berries. Dawn fan. And we just send in Finland to finish him off, right? Is this it? Did we do it? Cue the victory music, gamers and gamers. We just beat a pretty easy gym <laughs> with our underleveled team, with our ragtag team of Finland, Botswana, Wales, Mexico, Canada, and Germany. That was shockingly easy. But gamers and gamers, I think that's going to do it for today's episode. Please be sure to like and subscribe and answer the QOTD. But that's all I have for you today, so I will see you later.